Okay, here we have a uh, crack me, and I'm using cheat engine, and I'm going to try to use cheat engine to find out uh, where in the code the uh, this uh, check button processes the input. Right now, I will attach cheat engine to the crack me, and then uh, I'm going to type something in here and click check and you get this message wrong serial key try to wrong serial key so I'm going to change the value type to string and I'm going to search for two first scan and I got a few I change this to three and now I'm going to click check again wrong serial key scan for 3 next scan so I put this into the straight cheat table and now I find what writes to this address what accesses this address attach the debugger and now go here and enter 4 click on check ok and so notice the number 109, 21, and 1. When I click check, see which one increases. Okay, the second one increases. One more time. Second one increases. That means it is this, this instruction is the one which is run when you click the check button. So this is the one that you want to analyze. So over here, click show disassembler. And go here. And notice we are in the system. DLL. We are not in the user user module space, so we have to find which uh, user module make use of this DLL. So to do that, we have to set the break and trace. So right click, put break and trace instructions over here, and click OK. Right. So now we go back. Now you see this is the break and trace window. So when we are gonna go going to go back to the program and click check. Okay, so it has hit our breakpoint and perform a trace, break and trace. So now we can analyze this and we can expand all of this expand all and this is the onion layers, the outer layer, and then inner and inner innermost. So as it goes down inside here, you are entering the innermost uh, functions. So from the innermost function, we are over here. This is where our instruction uh, was uh, first found in the system over here. And now we are going to trace it to the outer layer the caller so we trace it down here to the return so over here when it returns it returns to the outer layer then over here there's a call but we are not going to step into it so we close this uh, thing and then let's trace this to the return so when you hit return it goes to another layer outside then you follow it until it returns here we're not going to enter the call so we collapse we uncollapse this and follow up to the return when it hits the return goes back outside to the caller to the caller uh, layer trace the return up to here and then go back out to the another layer above it trace to the return again exit to the upper layer Trace to return, exit to the upper layer, again here, return to the upper layer. Uncollapse this call, we are not going to step in. Uncollapse this, another return, go back another up one more layer. Keep on tracing the return. We are still in the system DL. Here, go back to the caller, uncollapse this, back to the caller. And you can see, this is the API to extract 
the string from the text box get null item okay we are close continue to trace the return and now we are we are in the user module see that user module all right so in the user module try to look for this message box in here and you will find there's a message box here all right and we can uncollapse this because we're not going to go inside the system call so you can see there's a message box here all right so you can just uh, click on this message box and go directly to the assembly and you can see we are in the right place this is the jump we jump, jump over here and call this message box so all you need to do is just reverse the jump so over here so if we reverse if we know of this we should be able to get the congrats well, well done all right so this is how we can find the uh, user cheat engine to analyze and reverse engineer the crime so that's all thank you for watching